Okay, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking about an over the top beautiful day here in the end times where my little uh, weather station is claiming it's 39 degrees and snowing right now. Huh, 39 degrees and snowing. Uh, actually, we are headed to 78 degrees on this absolutely glorious Monday morning. Uh, here in the collapse of everything on uh, that would be Monday, October 21st as I enter my last week at Bugs in a Jar Farm and uh, so take a wild guess what I am doing with this spectacularly gorgeous Monday morning. I am heading to a brake mechanic. I have no brake light anywhere on this uh, <laughs> On this dashboard, I have no brake light. I have three out of four brand new brakes. And I have, like, no brakes on the truck. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to hold on to my last vestiges of sick, twisted, ironic humor on this uh, whole episode with this goddamn brake light from hell and uh, so I am probably somewhere between two and three hundred more dollars so this will take me well over the one thousand dollar mark uh, since this brake light it came out on September 25th it is now October 21st, so I think four weeks ago today I started the single biggest, uh, just never-ending uh, car repair bill uh, of pretty much any vehicle I've ever owned. This 2013 Toyota Tacoma has turned into the biggest disaster. I had a dream uh, between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock this morning that the entire truck we were I was parked I know I was parked beside this beautiful pond I can't remember who was there with me and I came back up to the truck and, and I reached to open the door of the truck and it, it it broke in half. I mean, uh, the the whole body of the truck completely fell off the frame of the truck. Fell off the frame of the truck, and uh, then I remember in the dream the the wrecker showing up, trying to figure out how to get uh, this mangled mess. Uh, up on the wrecker and uh, so he, he gets the truck up on the wrecker and the whole body of the truck flipped over backwards the the, the frame of the truck was sitting on the uh, on the wrecker and the body of the truck was lying kind of upside down in a mangled heap uh, on the side of the road <coughs> And uh, that is the hopefully not prophetic dream I had uh, about two hours ago. Then, of course, I was awakened from that nightmare by the arrival of the propane delivery guy bringing in $500 worth of propane to keep my pipes from freezing at Bugs in a Jar Farm this winter. So I have, uh, before I had, before I had had my cup of coffee, I was down $500 uh, for the day. Although I think I'm getting reimbursed for that $500. We will see. <coughs> uh, 
God. Let me get this FedEx. <coughs> FedEx 18 wheelers going by, everyone. I have, what have I already ordered today? Uh, a beard trimmer. I went to trim my, uh, on everything. I forgot to mention the beard trimmer that I went to uh, get the weeds out of my beard uh, on top of everything else yesterday. And both of my beard, I, I don't have one, I have two beard trimmers. And uh, both of them were dead. Both of my beard trimmers were dead yesterday. Uh, so, there's another, whatever that was, 25 bucks or whatever on a beard trimmer. $500 worth of fossil fuels. <laughs> so, uh, I guess me and the little dog will take a walking tour of Candor, New York, so we can walk. To the bank where the ATM uh, is broken. Oh, shit. And then, assuming uh, that this mechanic gets the truck fixed, <coughs> then I get to go deal with getting new tires put on the fucking trailer. Uh, there's another probably 300 fucking dollars so I can take the gator with me to Florida. Let's see, we have some road destruction. I better start pumping my brakes so I don't slam in to the car in front of me in the road destruction. Doing. Oh, I do not believe it. They're they're actually taking dead trees out of the power line right of way before the tree falls on the power line. I've been, I, I you know, I, I've been looking at this line of dead ash trees uh, hanging over the goddamn power line uh, for the last two years, wondering how long before the goddamn. Uh, I'm thrilled to see the power company actually doing their job taking out I mean look at these dead fucking at look at this over here they have they have got their job cut out for them oh fuck it's just uh I've been mean, talking about these goddamn dead trees taken over my life uh, how many other things I, I, and it happened yesterday so you know one of the the chainsaws which of course I forgot to bring with me to the chainsaw shop we lost the oil cap on it so we had to retire that chainsaw <clears throat> so then we take the working chainsaw on the last cut of the entire day, the last cut of the entire day with the surviving chainsaw, we got the goddamn saw stuck in the tree. Uh, so the saw was stuck in the tree and uh, on, on the last cut of the day, so I had to go back to the chainsaw that was broken down slather the damn chain with oil, crank that chainsaw up long enough to dig out the chainsaw that was caught in the tree. Uh, yesterday was truly a... Uh, now, now, my brakes feel totally fine right now. Or totally fine. As I'm pulling in to spend two or three hundred dollars, uh, my brakes uh, are, are totally fine as I get ready to pull into the mechanic and spend two or three hundred more dollars to fix my brakes when there's no brake light 
and, and, and now my brakes feel completely fine. He's going to look at me and say, uh, I will gladly uh, spend two to three hundred dollars uh, of your money and, and how many hours uh, waiting around for him to get to my truck uh, when there's nothing wrong with your brakes, Sam. Uh, look at this shithole town. Candor, New York. No, I mean, what are these people living in these big old houses with the columns on the part? I mean, what, what the hell? What, what do they do? You know, do, do these people, do they, I, I, I guess they work in Ithaca? I, I mean, every one of these goddamn houses uh, are 3,000 square feet. And they got to heat these goddamn things. Alright, is the bank open or is it some sort of holiday today? I actually uh, see cars at the bank, so this will give me and the little dog something to do on this beautiful morning in Candor, New York, where we have probably three hours to fill uh, so I can go get the money out of the bank to pay the guy yesterday. Uh, you, you know, I, I'm trying to appreciate the humor that my brakes seem to have uh, seem to have fixed themselves uh, as, as I'm driving into a mechanic's office. Uh, you, you, you know. Uh, <laughs> Oh fuck! This is it. I I am uh, so goddamn done with this fucking bullshit. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! All right, little dog. I'm gonna come get you in a minute. Here we are back at a mechanic's office. Wish me luck. Bye, guys.